was a huge challenge because not only were they in the process of changing contractors, but they also stopped supplying food. Uh, we had already at that time started meeting quarterly instead of monthly. People were, I, I inherited the board members. Um, the charter is real specific on who needs to be at the table, but some of that changed. But that's okay because the people that are at the table are just as passionate as a community person would be. But just the fact that the contractor changed, the challenge of getting the minutes to be accurate changed, the history changed, there was no um, old membership material because once that contractor left, they took everything with them, material, the attendance, and even though I tried to get my hands on it, it was like, no, too bad, so sad. It's really sad, it really was, because even trying to get the names of the people that were involved from day one, it was up to me going back through my old paperwork. So it was very, very time consuming and challenging now with the minutes and making sure that they get to the public on time. And unfortunately people, that kind of reflects on me in my leadership because if they're not getting the material in time, they think it's my fault and it's not. But you can't make up excuses and say, well, it's the, the new contractor. So being the person that I am, sort of sending out emails of concern so we're going to start seeing some changes. It's and I know sometimes people think I'm really tough and I'm really a mean person, but I'm not. It's my integrity that's at stake here. And I want to make sure that people understand when I say something, it's going to be done. Because again, it's keeping the trust of the community at the forefront.